Kia ora. All passengers and crew's crew need to complete a New Zealand Traveller Declaration for every voyage to New Zealand. You can either use the NZTD app, which is available on both the Apple and the Google Play app stores, or visit the website www.travellerdeclaration.govt.nz. Here's a handy step-by-step -step guide on how to complete it. When you open the NZTD app, click the Add a New Declaration button to start a new declaration. Here you will see our privacy information. Once you have read through, check the box confirming you have read and understood the privacy policy. Then click Next to start your declaration. You will also be asked if you are completing on behalf of somebody else. Now is the time to enter your details. To enter your phone number, click in the first box and start typing your country code. You will then be given options that you can select from. Select how you are arriving into New Zealand. If you are arriving by cruise ship, select cruise ship. Now it's time to select your vessel. If you start typing the vessel name, you will get a list that you can select from. Once you have selected your vessel, you now need to select your voyage. You will now see a summary page. It is now time to answer your first question. Select the option that best suits you for this arrival into New Zealand. You have now completed the first part of your declaration. You can see your reference number circled at the top. You now need to add your passport details. You can either use the scanner and scan your passport, or you can manually add your details. They must be entered as they are on your passport. When entering your nationality, if you start typing, you will be given a list of options. I have now completed the first part of my NZTD. I now have three sections I need to complete. You'll see that I do not have any MPI biosecurity questions. That is because I have selected that I am leaving New Zealand on this vessel. My first section is the purpose of travel. As I answer the questions, you'll see other questions change depending on my answers. The question, in which country did you live for the last 12 months or more, can be complicated for cruise crew. So put in here, the country that you have lived in the most outside of the cruise ship. You will also need to enter an address for while you are in New Zealand. Being on a cruise ship, you will not have an address to add in here. If you click the manually edit button, you are then able to write an address in manually. If you use the ship's name and the town that you are in, this will be sufficient. You also add your occupation here. You have now completed the first section. You can see that it has a green tick next to it. For travel history, when entering countries that you have been to, start typing and you'll be able to select from the list. You can also add another country by clicking the green button. You have now completed your second section of the declaration. Now to answer the restricted items questions. Answer all the questions. You cannot move on to the next question until you have answered the one before. Once you have finished answering your questions, click Save. You have now answered all three required sections of the declaration. You can now submit your declaration. Once you have submitted, you'll be asked a final question. Once you have answered this, you'll need to tick the box to confirm the declaration you have made is true and correct. You have now completed your New Zealand Traveller Declaration. You have the option to create a profile by ticking the box on the bottom of this page. As you can see, completing a New Zealand Traveller Declaration is that simple. Thanks for your time. Mā te wā.